Hello, welcome to yet another video presentation from the Clean Air Bus Production Studio. Today, we will be looking at two neighboring bus rapid transit systems that I visited back in the summer of 2018. The Metrobus system in Mexico City and the Mexibus system in the state of Mexico. First, let's have a brief discussion about bus rapid transit. Bus rapid transit, or BRT, is a bus-based mode of transportation that combines the flexibility and low capital cost of bus systems with the speed and capacity of rail systems. In much of the world, bus rapid transit is employed as whole transit systems or as a mode within a larger network. Others use the technology for a single line or a group of lines as part of a transit network. Most BRT systems incorporate seven main features. Dedicated bus only lanes or rights of way to speed past traffic. Offboard fare collection where fares are collected prior to boarding the actual bus itself. Special branding to differentiate the BRT from a standard bus network. Level boarding to allow all users, especially wheelchairs, to board with the floor of the bus level to the platform. Transit signal priority, which allows buses to change red lights to green or keep lights green to keep buses moving. High capacity buses to move more people within a given corridor. And high capacity stations and transfer points to accommodate high volumes of riders. With that said, we will take a look at two systems that I personally explored. The Metrobus system in Mexico City and the Mexibus system that serves the immediate suburbs. Both systems share some common features, but there are a number of differences between the two. Let's take a look at some quick facts about both systems. The Metrobus system in Mexico City was opened in June 2005 with the first line running along much of Avenida Insurgentes, one of the longest urban avenues in the world. Today, the system has seven lines with roughly 105 miles of bus-only lanes and carrying about 1.8 million riders a day. According to the city's data, there are roughly 800 high-capacity buses in the fleet, most of which are articulated buses. Much of the fleet is built by Volvo, with buses from other manufacturers in the mix, including Neobus, Dina, Kayo, Marco Polo, and even Utong and BYD. The Mexibus system, which operates primarily in the state of Mexico, was opened in December of 2010, with the first line running from the Ciudad Azteca station on Mexico City Metro Line B to Ojo de Agua. There are currently four lines with roughly 55 miles of bus only lanes and carries about 400,000 riders a day. There are about 328 buses in the fleet covering all four lines, many of which being articulated buses. There were originally Volvo and Neil bus built buses, but as of late, there are also buses built by Kayo, Marco Polo, and even a Chinese builder, Zongtong. So, let's compare these two systems. Both systems utilize center-running bus-only lanes specifically for high-floor bus rapid transit vehicles to serve as high-floor station platforms. These platforms are used to allow riders to pay their fare, recharge their smart cards, and ask for directions to their destination all without any interaction with the bus operator. 
Many of these bus rapid transit corridors in both systems were built to replace privately owned minibuses or peseros, which often put service and profits over safety and usually deferred maintenance and pollution control measures. This meant that air quality levels were rather high for the areas served and the potential for injury and petty crime was rather high. As for the buses themselves, the main models of choice for these systems are the Volvo 7300 and the Marco Polo Gran Viale BRT, though the Neobus Mega BRT does have a notable presence in the area. Both Metrobus and Mexibus use bus rapid transit as ways to get around the region, but their systems have quite a few differences. Mexico City's system has seven lines, which all have connections to at least one other Metrobus line. This interconnected web of BRT lines is like an overlay over the existing subway system. With 12 subway lines, the Mexico City Metro covers at least half of the city with 195 stations across 124 miles of track. The bus rapid transit network complements the subway versus competing with it. Mexibus, on the other hand, has four lines, but only three of them connect to one another. Line three is the outlier running in the southeast corner of the state of Mexico from Pantitlan Metro Station to Chimahuacan. Lines one, two, and four operate in the northern part of Mexico City, as well as in Ecatepec, Tacamac, and Cuauhtitlan. Mexico City Metro Boost lines are local stopping services, making all stops from end to end but some buses travel only up to a certain point or start somewhere near the beginning of a line. Some routes even deviate and make stops along another route, such as line two buses running along line one from Nuevo Leon to Colonia del Valle instead of going to Tacubaya. With Mexibus, each line has multiple stopping patterns, with the Ordinario service making all local stops and various Expresso services skipping minor stops or truncating at different points. Mexibus makes this work by having passing lanes at many stations for express buses to travel past local buses stopped at stations. Many urbanized areas of Mexico have some serious quality of life issues, a major problem being the safety of female passengers riding public transport. The biggest problem? Sexual assault. Mexico City and the surrounding suburbs recognize that women, even those traveling with small children, have a particularly difficult time getting around without the threat of unwanted sexual conduct. And so they deal with this in two different ways. In the Metrobus system, all BRT buses have a section of each bus that have pink seats designated for women and small children, while the rest of the bus has gray seats for the general public. In the Mexibus system, instead of designating sections of all buses for women and small children, all lines have what is called Transporte Rosa, or pink transport where women and small children essentially have buses completely to themselves that operate along the BRT lines. Often the Transporte Rosa operates as express services versus a stopping service, allowing women to get home safely faster. Mexico City uses bus rapid transit technology to promote safer and more reliable public transport for the city and the region as a whole, and for more people to use public transportation instead of driving. Both Metrobus and Mexibus have replaced many services using minibuses or peseros, making the busiest corridors safer and more orderly. In the city proper, Bus Rapid Transit has been implemented as a much cheaper, easier to implement extension of the subway network to underserved areas, or perhaps an overlay of the subway network, kind of like a surface subway. In the state of Mexico, 
The bus rapid transit network is more of a cheaper way to implement rapid transit to areas of the suburbs that would have otherwise kept the hundreds of peseros that still roam the streets, albeit in smaller numbers, and in many other areas that could use more peseros. Areas such as Ecatepec and Tacamac have a high population density and other conditions that warrant high capacity modes of transportation, and Mexibus is a way of providing a mode of transport that can accommodate heavy loads of passengers. Mexico City has a fleet of low floor buses for Line 4 and double decker buses for Line 7 for different reasons. Line 4 has low floor rigid buses for operating on narrow streets with tight turns in close proximity to prominent buildings in the city, while Line 7 has double deckers for the capacity needs of the Paseo de la Reforma without compromising its overall beauty. Mexibus has mainly high floor, high capacity buses, but at one time it did have a fleet of low floor buses. This was done on line four from Indios Verdes to Acatepec due to the extensive construction delays in the lower section of the line in Acatepec and Tlalnepantla. Even though construction started in 2014, significant completion occurred in 2021 with the line operating from Indios Verdes to Tecamac. As of early April 2024, Mexibus Line 4 extends down to La Raza, which is also served by Metrobus Lines 1 and 3 and Mexico City Metro Lines 3 and 5. Both systems have their share of issues, including overcrowding during peak hours, sexual assault among female passengers, and up until recently, the lack of fare integration with nearly all modes of transport. In Mexico City, each transport mode operated by separate agencies had their own smart card and their own set of fares. In the state of Mexico, each line had its own separate smart card, though fares were similar. Mexico City has since moved everything to the Movilidad Integrada system with one smart card for all modes of transport. Mexibus still has separate smart cards for all of their lines. Something worth noting is the actual enforcement of the bus only lanes. From anecdotal experience, most motorists stay out of the bus lanes except in spots where traffic backs up for miles. Outside of the city, there's little enforcement, let alone prominent signs that deter motorists from using them as less crowded general travel lanes. This becomes more apparent the farther away from the city you travel. While travel times are still quite short in the busiest sections of the Mexibus lines, cars in the bus only lanes remains an issue. One last thing to note is that both systems utilize unique symbols for each station in the network for those who are illiterate but still need to find their way around. Mexico City has used this idea to develop a healthy ridership for its subway system since the 1960s and has since spread its usage to Metrobus and the light rail. Mexibus has essentially copied the idea for its system even though the literacy rates in the region are far higher than they were over 50 years ago when the subway first opened. Thank you for watching. enjoyed this video for more videos like this feel free to hit the subscribe button and stay tuned for new content the clean air bus production studio showcasing mass transit